to an episode of We Rebuilds. We have a new project today. We're going to pick it up. I'm very excited. So let's go get this new build. So this is what we're going to use to pick up the new build. Check out this when we head home. Catch you guys home. Now they said it's a running drive, so we're gonna try to start it. It doesn't wanna start, and it's not going in a neutral. So we're gonna keep on, we're gonna find a problem and see if we can get this car to start. We're here trying to take the front end off so we could put the car in neutral. It won't get it won't go in neutral. It won't start. So we're here pulling off the front to see if we could remove some of the parts from the front so we could get it to start. We're still trying to get it to start. No luck yet. We'll just keep trying. We're trying to see if we can get a jump start and see if that will help to get it to start. So let's see what happens. This is the fuse that makes, once the, the car gets hit, it breaks the connection so the car won't start. So we're about to put this wire on this side because this wire has the fuse on it. This wire doesn't. So we're gonna switch those and see if it works. Let's try it. So we connected these two wires, still no luck, car is still not starting. So we're just gonna have to find a different way and put it in hard neutral so we can get it off the trailer. So these are the codes that come up. So we're gonna see if it, this could help us to let the car start. Right now, we gotta go under the car. I already pulled some bolts out, took this plastic piece off. I have to go back up under there and see if I could hard neutral this car and then roll it off. So in order to get the, the car to hard release, you gotta pull this leather down so the car would start rolling. See? Ready? Yeah, brother. Release. Ready? Finally got the car off the trailer. So now we're gonna take back this trailer and then start pulling this car apart. Hell yeah. We brought back the trailer. So now we can just look at the extent of the damage. So we see we already pulled the bumper off so we could help it to get off the trailer. So we're gonna need a radiator, so a lot of plastic pieces, and a lot of sensors. It's bent right here. And pretty much a lot, a lot of broken pieces. We're gonna need a new hood. Fender is damaged. Let's go check out the inside. Got the carbon fiber barrels. Gotta take time with that. Got the red red interior. Yeah. So this is nice. Red interior. Steering wheel airbag is blown. Knee airbag. Oh, we got a curtain airbag. So Let's see what's in the back. So we got a whole lot of junk. I'm not touching anything. Let me go grab some gloves. So 
So now we got some gloves on, we can see what's in the back. So we got the mats for inside of the car. And so we have all the mats. We have some papers. We got some registration. Not putting any of that information out there. I don't know what is this. I don't know. Might like this person maybe have the, have the Rona. And some other paperwork. But everything else. I'm going to clean the back. Got some nice wheels. We got this brake caliper. It's blue. It's M Sport. Here's a better look at it inside. So we got all the books for the car. This is the last time they did an inspection on the car. Let's see how much this car costs off the dealership. 53,935 dollars. And we got this car for way less than that. This fender is good. We have one headlight. I don't know what, what's making that sound, but we'll figure it out later. Need a, a headlight for this side, but pretty much it's a lot of plastic pieces. We just gotta find all these pieces and get it back together and get it ready for the road again. So that would be a wrap for today today's video on We Rebuilds. We got a lot done. We finally got the car off the trailer. We put it in hard neutral. We have a lot more stuff to do. There's one there's one seat belt that's locked up. We already tried to get it started. Still no luck yet. So we did everything, we jump started, it didn't work. I was doing some research, come to find out that this car has a safety feature where if it gets hit, hit in the front, there's a fuse that goes off in the back to break the circuit so that no more power goes to the engine to damage anything else. So we tried to bypass it to short circuit it, but it still didn't want to work. So we just might have to buy that part before we could get it started. Or maybe it's the camshaft or something but we'll just get to that in the next episode. And I want to tell my viewers and subscribers, stay safe out there and stay inside as we go through this Corona virus situation. So just stay home. If you don't have to go on the road, don't go on the road. I'll be creating more content while you're at home. So don't worry. Like, share. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on. Come in, tell me what you think. Send an email. DM me at, on Instagram at we underscore rebuilds. If you know how to get this car started, help us out, let us know, so we all can get this built together and get this beautiful car back on the road. Your help is much appreciated. So until next time, stay positive, stay motivated.